Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve this Apex and .NET basics. The first challenge is map .NET concepts to the Lightning platform. So scroll down to the last. So here select the hands-on org as my trailhead playground and then click on this launch button. So the task is about we need to create an Apex class. So for that reason, from this gear icon, select this developer console. Just right click and then click on this open link in new tab. So the developer page looks like this. So the Apex class name is account utils. So copy the name. And here click on this file and then click on this new and after that select here as apex class then enter the name which you copied and then select this ok button so the apex class is created and we need to add the program here so I have written the programs here and I will add this link in the description and also I will add these programs in the comments also copy from there. So this is the program related to this account utils. So copy and here remove all the code and add the code which you copied. After that click on this file and then here click on this save button. So you can see that it is saving so yeah the program is saved successfully then we need to test for that click on this test and then here click on this run all button so we can see that the test is run successfully and here you can see that the status is success so move to the instruction space and click on this check challenge button So yeah, the assignment is completed and we got the 500 points. Now we are going to solve the challenge 2 in Apex and .NET basics. So the name of the challenge is understand execution context. Scroll down to the last. And here click on this launch button near to this my trailhead playground. Then you will be redirected to this page. From this, click on this gear icon and then click on this developer console. Just right click and then click on this open link in new tab. So the developer console page will be here. It is loading. So yeah, the developer console page looks like this. So first of all, we need to create one of the Apex class. So copy the name that is account trigger handler and move to the developer console here click on this file button and then click new and here select this apex class then paste the name here and then click ok. So after that we need to add the program so for that move to this space and here in this challenge to account trigger handler copy the program and then remove all the code here and paste the code so we created one of the apex class and then we need to create the apex trigger so copy the name of the apex trigger that is account trigger and here click on this file and again click this new button and now select this apex trigger now paste the name and here as object select it as account and then click submit so copy the program and then remove all the code here and paste the code and the one last class is we need to create another apex class named account trigger test so in this developer console again click on this file new and here select it as apex class now paste the name and then click ok so copy the program and then remove all the code here and paste the code after adding all the programs in these three files click on this file 
and then here click on the save all button so we can see that all the three files having this saving after the file save click on this test and then click on this run all so we can see that the test run is success after that move to the instruction space and then click on this check challenge so yeah the assignment is completed and we got 500 points Now we are going to solve the challenge 3 in Apex and .NET Basics and the name of the challenge is Use Asynchronous Apex. So we can see that it is of quiz challenge. So the first question is you can choose to use asynchronous processing when and the correct option is option D. And the next question which of the following is not a type of asynchronous processing? So the correct option is option D. So after selecting both of the questions, click on this check the quiz button. So the quiz is completed and we got 100 points. Now we are going to solve this last and final challenge in Apex and .NET Basics. And the name of the challenge is Debug and Run Diagnostics. Click on that. Scroll down to the last. So it is also a quiz challenge. The first question is the primary source of debug information on the lightning platform is. So the correct option is option C debug log. And the next question which of the following is true regarding checkpoints. So the correct option is option D. So after selecting both of the questions click on this check the quiz button. So yeah, we got this Apex and .NET Basics module and we got this batch also. And please do check out our channel Education Matters for next challenge answers and module answers. And also please do share our channel to your friends. It will help them too. That's it. Thank you.